When out fishing, fishermen can capture not only a fish, they can capture data as well. By using a smartphone, they can take an image of a fish and, in doing so, record the person who caught it, as well as the location of where they caught the fish. They can also add data, such as a unique trace code and a tag. And into an electronic logbook, they can add the weight and length of the fish, along with other useful information. And with the same devices, they can get weather forecasts, communicate with family, even watch their favourite sport. And through a cellular satellite link, the captain can transmit this information to a central database in real time. The central database can not only store this information, it can communicate selected information to the market, where buyers, such as chefs in hotels, can be notified by email or text what their favourite fishers are catching and initiate a value chain to quote for his order. Technology can automatically assess the best route, tender the job to third-party logistics providers, and cost and quote delivery and price options to the buyer. Alternatively, whilst in transit to a port and a logistics hub like Singapore, the fisherman could place his fish on a virtual auction. At the logistics hub, produce can be examined and technology used to confirm quality and freshness safety and DNA for authenticity, traceability and for stock assessments. And with more and more boats comes more and more data. And this effort and catch data can be aggregated over time to help determine whether fish stocks are decreasing, whether they are stable or whether they are increasing. And at restaurants, edible soy ink trace codes enables customers to use their smartphones and trace back where their seafood came from and see who caught it and where, and even text the fishermen. And with banking by phone, it is possible for the market and consumers to reward fishermen directly for being sustainable and responsible. However, fragmented and opaque supply chains are a major barrier to forming sustainable and responsible value chains. And it is here where technology can help too. 